Hey everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get Windows on your Steam Deck using only your Steam Deck. Now there is another way to do this, but it's a lot riskier because you're using somebody else's Windows file, which is pretty much an exact copy of their system, and you can get all the bad and the good. So this way we're going to be downloading an official ISO from Microsoft, and then we'll be putting it on a bootable. We'll be swapping out our internal SSDs, and then we will be installing Windows that way. So it'll be safer, a lot more, a lot more steps, but it'll definitely be safer. So um, yeah, stick with me here. So now I'm going to go over the things that we're actually going to need for this whole setup here. And so we're going to obviously need the Steam Deck. We're going to need a keyboard, two USBs. I'm going to say at least 3.0 because I tried some lower quality ones and they didn't work. We're going to need a new internal SSD for our Steam Deck. We're going to need a mouse and we're going to need a USB-C hub that we can plug in the top here that has at least three USB ports. One for mouse, one for keyboard, and one for our bootable USB drive. So yeah. So now we're gonna go to this address at the top here. We're gonna download the Windows 10 ISO image file. So we're gonna scroll on down here, select our edition, Windows 10, confirm. Come on down here, select our language, English. And scroll, there we go. And then we're gonna do the 64-bit download and then you should see it downloading there. And then let that download. Then we're gonna come up to Steam Powered here and we're gonna grab the Windows drivers for when we actually finish our installation for Windows. So we're gonna grab this one here. APU, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SD card reader, and driver one and driver two for audio. So now that we have everything downloaded, we're going to be taking our USB and we're going to be putting all the Windows 10 drivers onto our USB. Okay, so we're going to go to our folder where we downloaded everything. We're going to highlight all of our driver folders that we downloaded. We're going to right click and we're going to say extract and then extract archive here. It's going to extract all the folders here. Okay. We're going to highlight all of our folders that it extracted. We're going to right click and say, oh, actually, caught one extra there. Right, to highlight all those folders. We're going to right click, copy, and then we're going to go to our USB drive. I'm going to go to my drivers folder, and I'm going to say, paste six items. Let that run through its thing. And there we go. So now you can take your USB uh, drive out here. We can right click on it, and we can go to safely remove and then let it eject and it'll tell you when it's ready here and it'll say removing and let it go through its thing before you actually remove the device because it could still be writing information too and you just want to double check that everything is finished so yeah so once it's finished you can remove it put it to the side and we will use it at the end once we actually finish getting windows installed on the internal ssd so what we're going to do now is come to the bottom left click on system and then go to console. So we're gonna be entering a bunch of stuff here. This is gonna be downloading packages, um, such as something like GNOME Disk Utility. Um, this will give us the ability to kind of just, just get a little bit easier read on our internal drives uh, and for reformatting as well. And then we will also be downloading WO USB, which will be the program we will be using to create our Windows 10 bootable drive. Um, and then dependencies, which are pretty much like um, programs that are needed to run on the back end. So we'll be downloading those as well. And yeah, so for this one, we'll be entering sudo pacman-s winlib and then hitting enter. And then you're going to be entering your sudo password and then hitting enter. And then we're going to say yes, why, and then let it run through its thing. And there you go. Now we're going to move on to the next one. So next we will enter yay-s space wo usb and then we'll press enter. And then we're going to press number one, enter, 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 let it go through its thing. 
So the reason you saw the error on my other one is because I already had Will USB made or built. So pretty much is skipping the build for me. You guys, it should go through fine. But if it doesn't and you have errors or problems, let me know. But we're going to continue on and it should be working. So from this point, we're going to make sure that Will USB is actually running by typing Will USB. Then we'll get a bunch of commands. We can type Will USB dash H. It'll give us the help commands. So if this is not coming up for you, try entering these commands in sequence, CD, Will USB, and then enter, and then LS, enter, make PKG space dash SI, enter, and see if that will build it as well. I'm really sorry I couldn't kind of get through this part as well because it was giving me errors. It's so difficult to do fresh installs on this stuff once it's already working and running. So if you have any uh, problems, let me know in the comments, and I'll try and help you out, and we can fix it. So from this point, we're going to install GNOME Disk Utility. So we're going to copy this line here, and we're going to paste. Okay, press Enter, and press Y, install, yes. And there you go. So now to make sure that you have GNOME Disks installed, we're going to come down here at the bottom left, and then we're going to type in Disks, and you'll see it pop up there. And there we go. So this will just make it a little bit easier for us when we're going to reformat our drives here. So now we're going to reformat our USB drive here to make it um, ready for actually becoming a bootable. So I'm going to plug it in here, and then we'll be able to see it come up there on the list. And there we go. There's the 32 gig thumb drive. So when you're selecting your device, you want to make sure, double check, triple check, that you're selecting the correct one. Because when we reformat, we will be wiping all of the data that is on this drive. If you click on any of these other ones, you could you could destroy your system. Don't do that. You want to make sure that you're selecting the correct drive that you want to make a Windows 10 bootable. Once you have that selected, you're going to come up here to the top three dots. You're going to say Format Disk. You're going to say Quick. Don't overwrite existing data. And you're going to say Compatible with all systems and devices, MBR, DOS. And we're going to say Format and you're going to want to double check that uh, is the correct thumb drive, and then we're going to say format. And there you go. It is now completely free of space. So from here, we're going to go to our downloads folder where we downloaded the Windows 10 ISO file. We're going to enter this line into the console command. The section here will be the name of your Windows 10 ISO file, as you can see here, 22H2, yada, yada, yada. And then this end part here that we'll be entering, forward slash dev, forward slash sdb, you can find that by seeing the device name under the drive that you will be turning into a USB bootable. As you can see, different devices have different names. So make sure you're selecting the correct name and you put that at the end of the line there. So once you have your command set up and you've double checked it to make sure that's how you want it to be, we're gonna copy it. And then we're gonna come over here to our downloads folder where the ISO is. We're gonna right click and say open in terminal. I'm going to right click and paste the line that we have there. And then we're going to double check just one more time. We'll USB device, the ISO, and then the location of our thumb drive, which you can see even at the top there. And then we're going to say enter. And then we're going to enter our sudo password here. And then let it run through its thing. So you'll see here that it will unmount the, um, the USB as well, and it'll pretty much run through its process. Uh, it's going to take some time depending on your read and write speed of your device, so keep that in mind, and I will come back when it is finished installing. All right, welcome back. So it should be finished installing now. So you can see down here, it's going to say the target device should be bootable now and we should be good to go. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just shut down the system and then I will be right back here. Okay, 
And so now with our USB still in there and everything, we're gonna hold down the volume down button and we're gonna press the power button until it beeps. Let go of the power button. And there we go. Okay. Then we're gonna go to our USB device that we just made. And there we go. Awesome. So hopefully it ran for you. <laughs> um, I did get errors at some points because I was using a lower quality um, micro SD card. So use at least a 3.0 is what I'm going to be saying. Um, and then stick with me here because I'm going to show you the reason why we'll be swapping out the internal SSDs. So one second here. Okay. So you see we're back into the Windows setup here. So if we were to go to install now and everything like that, I'm just going to show you don't mess around with anything in here. Um, I'm just showing you what's going on um, pretty much. So we can say I don't have a product key, which is what's going to take us into the installation. And then we'd be able to go through Home or Pro or anything like that. Um, and you click on next and then custom so pretty much you're going to see your drives here that you have for your internal ssd right now which is your steam os do not touch anything in here do not mess around with anything you will destroy your system if you do anything so pretty much what we're going to be doing is switching out our internals so that way we see only our new internal that we're going to be putting the uh, windows 10 on so pretty much from here, we can just hold down our power down button to turn off the system. And then we will be taking apart our Steam Deck and swapping out the internal SSDs. So again, we did this to make sure that our bootable device that we created is working. We're not messing around with anything else in here. And we're just going to power down now. Okay, so just as a tip as I'm doing this, I notice, so if you start at the top and you kind of work your way open a little bit, then you, I have a um, guitar pick here, and I inserted that and I started bringing it across the top, and that kind of started to pop up and everything pretty easily. And so if you're taking it apart, that's um, one tip to do. Okay, so just wanted to show you guys something else here. So when you're disconnecting your battery, this is going to be a pull tab for disconnecting the battery easier. Um, so be kind of gentle with this. My glue came off a little bit while doing this one. Um, so kind of pull down and away until it starts to come loose and then kind of start inching it out a little bit after that. Okay, so this is the error that you're gonna receive when you first boot up. If you didn't hold down the power button and the volume button correctly, there's no bootable media. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure that we have our USB-C attached here with our USB drive here in it with our bootable media and then we're going to hit OK on the keyboard and we're going to let it boot up here and then we're going to go to boot manager and then you're going to see here that's that's the boot device or USB that we created so we're going to hit enter and let that load up okay and we're back here. So as you can see, we're actually booted up into the Windows installation now. So as I showed you before, we're gonna click next, install now. So we're gonna go through the setup here. Okay, and we're gonna say, I don't have a product key. I'm gonna do Windows 10 Pro. I'm gonna say next. I'm gonna say accept. Okay, I'm gonna say custom. Now you can see here, we actually have our new um, internal SSD <laughs> we put on. This is really awesome. So now we're gonna actually be able to, it says free space 238, and it's gonna give us the option of clicking next. So we're gonna click next, and we're just gonna pretty much let it install Windows. So if you made it this far, congratulations, awesome. I mean, this is, this is huge. Um, now again, there is another way of doing this, but it's less secure. So this is pretty much the, the, the secure way of doing it, a lot longer, but um, it's secure. You're gonna be downloading an official file from Windows. So um, yeah, so enjoy you guys. Um, I hope this helps and it'll at least get an uh, internal SSD going. And so stick with me here. What I'm now going to be doing um, is I'm going to be booting up Windows, I'm going to be installing the drivers, and then 
From there, we can create the new bootable media on a micro SD card, um, which we can then re-swab back out our internals, put the SteamOS back on our internal one, and then have a bootable uh, micro SD card that we can use in our SD slot. And um, I got <laughs> you can do all this with the other with the other method of using somebody else's window image file. But um, again, this is a secure way of doing it. So um, gives you the option. So uh, yeah, I'll be back with the Windows 10 setup here. So here I'm just gonna run through everything, and set up um, kind of all the basic stuff. And so we're booting into Windows here. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to our display settings. We're gonna come down here. And we're gonna to go to display orientation and we're gonna say landscape. And then we're gonna see. It should be looking good now. So we keep changes and let me readjust stuff here. Hey, so coming back now, okay. So we're gonna now remove our bootable USB that we had there. And we're going to insert our USB that has our drivers on it. And it just got picked up there. Nice. I'm going to open that. Open our files. And so there we go. So we're going to start installing here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to be installing, installing here is Aerith Windows Driver. And this is going to be our APU driver. We're going to come into these folders here and we're going to click on the setup. And we're going to click yes. through the process here. Here we go. And we're gonna click on install. Let that go through its thing. Could take a little bit here, so I'll come back and see you guys here. Okay, then this will come up and then we'll click on install. And then we're going to come here to RTLWN, and then we're going to install using the install that file here. Double click on that. Yes. And this should give us our wireless too. By the way, that's what this one's gonna be used for. Okay. There we go, and we'll go back to our USB drives here. All right, and if you come down to the bottom right, you can click on the globe here, and you can see that it's picking up all the uh, wireless stuff now. Next we'll come to RT Blue, and then we're gonna install using the install driver. And then yes. And we'll let it go through the thing. Okay, there we go. And we can see our Bluetooth down there now. Okay. So next will be our Bay Hub, which will be our SD card reader, and then we're gonna run this setup in here. Next. And I'll restart later. Okay, go back to our USBs. So from here, we're gonna go into the folder for CS35 here. And then we're gonna to need to see file extensions. So we're gonna to go to view and then file name extensions. And then we want the .inf file and we're gonna right click on this and we're gonna say install. And we're gonna say yes. And there we go, complete successfully. We come back to the USB drive. And then we're gonna come here to NAU, double click. And we're going to go to the .inf again. We're going to right click and we're going to go to install. I'm going to say yes. Complete successfully. As you can hear, eh, we got sound now. We have Wi-Fi. 
and as you saw before we had our Bluetooth running. So everything should be good to go now and we're going to do a restart just to make sure everything takes hold. So let's get back to on here. So the last thing I'm going to show you is that the SD card slot is now readable. So I'm going to pop that in here. Okay. And there we go. So pretty much, thanks for making this far. <laughs> um, so at this point, you can pretty much put Rufus on your system. You can go through the Windows 10 bootable media um, program that they have. You can now make your bootable um, SD card as you normally would on a Windows. So it's secure. It's um, it's pretty much, it's got everything. <laughs> it's faster because it's an internal SSD. Um, and you did it all just on the Steam Deck. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, if you have any questions, I'm sure you guys will <laughs> down in the comments, let me know. I'll try to help you out. And uh, thanks again and enjoy.